today in Elix and I are gonna go back to the Atari 7800 and that is because there seems to be certain things wrong with it. I mean, it's alright most of the time it works, but you probably noticed that, you know, a few times there there's always some sort of like glitch on the screen, you know, like the the LucasArts logo and stuff like this, but <clears throat> I'm not, I wanna I've noticed something whenever I especially in the last one when I was doing the power supply for this, I noticed that there's some sort of um <laughs> yeah, the power supply it looks <laughs> I noticed that there was um, some sort of loose connection here, especially with regards to this controller part. And that loose connection was making a lot of other things go a bit crazy. Do check out PCBWay. They do high quality custom PCBs, single and double sided, as well as both surface mounted and through hull assembly. I'm actually thinking about getting our Sidbox 5 assembled with them once we've finished our PCB design. They have a very fast delivery service, so you will get your PCB delivered to you in no time. So let's have a look and see how it is. Oh, we can hear it. <laughs> you heard the CRT switching on. Okay, that's really bad. It shouldn't be like that. <clears throat> okay, let's put Jinx in here. See how that is. Okay, that's really bad. Yeah, something's not right here. It's gone worse. Okay, I don't want it to goof up. Okay, let's so try ball blister here. Yeah, look, there's something really badly wrong. Yeah, you can see glitches everywhere. Let's try this one more time. Let's see if. Yeah, there's definitely something going on here. I'm gonna move this around. Okay, at the risk of screwing things up further inside there, I'm gonna refrain from turning it on. And just like open this out. Nine volt cut. Annoying. I'm gonna have to undo this. So I'm figuring there's some dry joints here. You know where this uh, this thing is. For freaks. Why is it when I move this in particular that everything goes haywire? Okay, simple things first. Let's check for dry joints. Well, let's alleviate any dry joints. Starting with the joystick port here. Doing it to the buttons next to it. Just in case. Just like doing some reflow 
the smell of that old solder. <laughs> it's not good for you, the fumes, but they smell good. Well, good in the sense of, you know, bring back some memories. <laughs> but... Did be toxic memories then, won't they? I know, bad joke. Cannot help it. I'm hanging around with people who like dad jokes. <laughs> Lately at least. So I've got a feeling that it is the earlier issue. This dust thing seems to have opened. There's like lines and cuts and stuff on the um Of course this is a port, isn't it? So it's over here. So I've just done I've redone that port for no reason. <laughs> I mean I've reflored it, but that's okay, I was gonna do it anyway. So it's around here, it's on this side, isn't it? So let's do this port then. <laughs> Gemma's you know, actually quite cool. There's um construction site next door here. And what's happening is I can hear their radio when they're working, because it's closer to my window. And I'm really thankful that they've put a radio station on that's like 70s and 80s music. I'm, I'm really digging that actually. <laughs> Otherwise it would have just been annoying. But I'm like, I've been hearing all sorts. I've been hearing like Madonna, Bee Gees, all this stuff. Some funky 70s disco playing out there. <laughs> I like it. Seems to be a little sliver here exposed. Okay, so the track is fine. Okay, I've uh, replenished a few solder points there. I want to check if this thing freaking works. Because I don't like the look of what it showed me. Also, I forgot to mention, on this big mod here, I've only just, you know, realized, because when I was connecting it to this um, Sony BVM, that it's not S-Video. It's actually just composite. And that's it. Oh, sun is shining. I'm loving it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get the power supply out and just connect it how I did. Or what I could do is just do a quick solder job on here. Actually, that'll be much easier. Okay, so let's turn it on and see. Okay, well, Asteroids is working good. No like corruption there. Let's put a cartridge in. Because you know the last time it was happening, asteroid wasn't asteroids wasn't coming on either, so that goes to show that it's not dirty cartridges or anything like this. It's working! Okay, let's try ball blazer. Yep, yeah, perfect. Uh, what I might actually do, regardless of this, let's turn that off, is actually reseat the chips, these ones that are socketed. Okay, that's reseated. Let's reseat this one. The actual. All the other ICs are soldered onto the board directly. Let's give it another test go. And this time with the joystick plugged in. Okay, at least it's... Okay, it works! Fantastic! Good, let's put this back together again and do a Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> I'd not like freaking need to open it again because that's really annoying, <laughs> you know, with this DC jack. Having to kind of like disc uh, take it out and put it back in again. Okay, that looks like it's a 7805. I'll have to double check on the schematics, uh, but there are 
ones available which I can replace them with. Um, it's those ones which I used for the Sinclair Spectrum. Um, the switching ones instead of the linear ones, which this one is. Look at Neelix sitting on my chair, snoring away. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> Good! Works. Just doing final tests. I vigorously test things. <laughs> Yep, works. Perfect. And... Ooh. I couldn't do that before. Shut up. As in, if I kept like... If I just tapped it, it would just go... <laughs> so I just couldn't do this before. So, I can do that. Fantastic. Um, there was a loose connection, that means. I can even wiggle this, doesn't do anything. Fantastic. Fixed. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos because I do so many other different things on this channel. And do subscribe for more. For now, my Atari 7800, Sleepy Neelix, and I will say adios. <laughs> many thanks to all my patrons for supporting my channel, especially to my supporters who deserve an extra special thank you. Electronscape, Rich Garbett, Axel Dominator, Starlight Minako, Kamal Dag, Steven Leary, and Chris Sablinski. Do see the video descriptions below to check out my patrons' websites and YouTube channels.